Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm cutting potatoes, but don't worry, I'm not making chips. We're getting ready to plant our potatoes, and as you know, we plant our potatoes in wood chips, and we use a technique of a raised bed on top of a raised bed. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, so keep watching. So when you have a large potato like this, you can double the amount of potatoes that you plant and you, you'll end up doubling your potato harvest if you cut them. So when you cut them, you cut them so each piece has an eye on it. Now these two have chittered and they've got some nice big sprouts on them. But there's an eye and that's what would turn into a, to a sprout. There's an eye. There's an eye with a big chit on it. And there's another eye there. So what I'm going to do with this big potato here is... I've got this, I've got two chits, well I've got three chits, one there, one there and one there. So that when I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it so that this chit's on one piece and these two chits on a, are on a separate piece. And I'm just going to cut it there. And now I've got two pieces with a chit on each piece. Now the best thing for you to do when you have potatoes that you've freshly cut is not to plant these straight away. The best thing to do is leave these for a couple of days, let that cut heal and callous off and it'll become hard and dry and that'll protect the potato from rotting when you plant them out. So that's what I'm going to do with these and we'll come back and we'll plant them in a couple of days. So there's three varieties of potatoes that I'm going to plant today. Red Duke of York, King Edwards and Desiree. These are a standard potato that I always plant. Desiree especially, they're a particular favourite of mine. So last year, I'm, I'm not kidding, I must have had potatoes about that sort of size. I did a couple of videos on my potato harvesting last year, potatoes grown in wood chips. Go back and check them out and you'll see the size of the potatoes I got. Absolutely beautiful. Red Duke of York, these are an early potato, a first early. So they should harvest, from planting to harvest, they should take about three, three, four months-ish. And the main crops, they should go from planting to harvest in about um, five to six, close to seven months, if we don't get blight. So normally we do get blight quite a, quite a lot in the heart of Yorkshire, uh, especially towards the end of August, mid-September. So hopefully these will be ready to harvest in about six months. And I'll show you the technique that we use to plant our potatoes. It's not the typical method. We don't plant in the ground. We make use of our raised beds and the way we do it is we grow our potatoes in wood chips and I'll show you what I've got what I'm doing. So what I've got here are some aged wood chips mixed with compost. A lot of there's a, there's some manure here as well and this is going to be what my bottom layer of my raised bed on top of a raised bed is going to be made of. So I'm just going to rake this out and make a nice layer. And this is what I want to plant into. This is going to be the main feed for the potatoes and it's going to be the main feed for the, this bed going forward. So there's compost here, there's manure here, there's broken down, there's some uh, wood chips. So I'm just making sure that the first layer is nice and neat, has got a nice even spread of compost and manure and everything. So this is my wood chip pile. Now this side of the wood chip pile is about uh, eight months old, seven or eight months old. This side, as you can see, is brand new. There's a lot of green matter in here, so it, it's still quite fresh. Now with the technique that we're using, it doesn't matter. You can use the fresh stuff, you can use the aged stuff. It doesn't really matter because the first layer that we put down of manure and compost is gonna be the, the layer that's gonna feed the potatoes and that's gonna drag down into the soil and the wood chips that we put down on top is just going to be a growing medium. So because it's a quite a loose medium, it gives the potato a chance to swell and expand and get to that really huge size that we got last year. If I can replicate that again this year, I'll be over the moon. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to pile on at least eight inches of wood chips on top of here. So 
So even fresh wood chips can go down, it doesn't make a difference with this technique. It's not going to cause a loss of nitrogen. So can you see how high that soil level is now? It's at least eight inches off the original soil level. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to shape it and make sure that it's sort of like a, a, a chocolate bar shape all the way around. And the reason that I'm making it with these sloped edges is side edge, straight edges always cave in and fall down. These um, uh, slanted edges, they'll more likely hold the shape. So I'll make it flat on top and I'll level it off and I'll fill up all the gaps and add more wood chips if I need to. And the reason I'm planting my first earlies under here is because these are going to be har ready to harvest in about three or four months. So that's going to give it, get us to about June, July time. Early June is when I'm going to be planting out my gourds. Mid June to early July is when the gourds will be taking over this whole place. And by that time I'll be harvesting my potatoes so it won't cause any airflow issues for my gourds. That's why I'm planting my gourds under my first earlies under these arches so I can capitalize on as much sunlight um, as I'm going to get while the gourds are establishing. So when the gourds are established and it becomes quite dark under here, the potatoes are ready to come out and I can go and plant something like a leafy crop under here that won't, won't mind a bit of shade. You can use your hands or you can use a trowel, it doesn't matter. Because of, what we're, because of the stuff that we're planting in is so loose, your hands are quite easy. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a potato, I'm going to make a hole and I'm going to find where the soil level is, not where my compost level is, but where the soil level is. And I'm going to just make sure that the potato sits inside that soil. So remember when you're looking at a chip, which side goes up, that pointy side goes up and these roots will go down. So that's how I'm planting my, my first earlies. I'm just going to put, nestle them in there like that. Because of how loose this soil is as well, you can plant really close together and get away with it. So I'm only planting what a trowel's length apart, so that's about um, 10 inches apart. So you can get away with planting really close together. And so as I'm making the next hole, I'm filling the next one up. So it's quite, it's quite easy. So I'm just gonna drop, drop these in. We can fill them up and cover them up as we go. And if I need to earth these up, Wait. and as these plants grow, if I need to earth these up, all I'll do is I'll come along with another bucket of wood chips and just chuck a bucket of wood chips over the top. And I find this, uh, this method really a lot more productive than growing in buckets and pots which a lot of gardeners are moving towards now. See, I've tried growing in buckets and pots, but you need to be buying loads and loads of plastic, which is something that I'm trying to move away from and you still don't get the harvest as you do with this method and if you don't believe me like I say go and check my potato harvesting videos out from last year and you'll see what I'm talking about so that's it that's as easy as it gets so now what I'm going to plant are my King Edwards uh, and these are a main crop potato and I know a lot of people wait till mid-April uh, to plant main crop potatoes but I want to get with this method they're not going to get that cold so, so they won't suffer from they won't suffer from um, frost or anything like that because we are quite blight prone around here we want as long a growing season um, as we can before we get hit we normally get hit by uh, by about August we're hit with blight and I know there are light resistant varieties, but I like these potatoes. <laughs> See, if I ever need to earth these up, I will just come in and just throw some wood chips over the top of them. As these wood chips break down, they're gonna feed the soil, they're gonna feed my potatoes. So when it comes to harvest time, and I harvest these potatoes, what's gonna happen is I'll set the chickens on here after I've harvested them 
they'll kick this raised bed to bits and they'll mulch my whole bed for me and if you don't know what I'm talking about go and watch a video uh, called digging with chickens and you'll see what how how I do it I'll pen this bed up I'll set the chickens on here for a for a day or two and they'll just kick this whole bed bed to bits yeah they'll get a nice feed of loads and loads of juicy worms and they'll have spread this mulch it'll have broken down by then and they'll have spread it all over this bed for me see these are those half potatoes that I'm planting as well so if you want to increase your potato crop one of the easiest ways is by taking your seed potato and cutting it in half and you instead of planting one you've got two for the price of one then and uh, you can laugh at me because I'm a typical Yorkshireman and we always lo love a good bargain so that's it that's my potatoes planted um, so we'll carry on and we'll do the other bed in July we'll harvest that side of the bed in September we'll harvest this side of the bed and we'll have a we'll get to uh, dig in dig into this bed and dig in like we're digging for treasure I mean last year the kids absolutely loved it when we were breaking down this bed and, and getting out all the potatoes go back do like I said do go back and check that video out so you can see how high that bed is off this bed raised bed on top of a raised bed is off the ground so I'm gonna leave this side clear so I can harvest the plant things that I'm gonna harvest regularly so I might plant some beetroot here I might plant some chard or I might plant something like that that we're regularly gonna be picking at that way we're not walking on the beds the potatoes are snug away in their own little raised bed in their own quite big raised bed um, and we've got this side of the bed to pick and 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 pick things that, that we want more regularly i might apply a little bit of compost here thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like for me and subscribe for regular updates make sure you ring the bell so you get the notifications and please share this video out as well so i'm going to leave it there for this one assalamu alaikum warahmatullah